So guys, move in here. Uh, today we're gonna house my rehouse my Afana Palma Calcodes, the Arizona blonde tarantula. Um, this is what she's gonna be coming in. I'll show you her cages in right now in a little bit, but this will make a much better improvement now that she's grown a little bit, and it's also will give her more space. So let's let's get to it. First things first, we gotta drill some ventilation holes. So let's get on that. All right, now we got cross ventilated air holes on both sides. And we're going to go ahead and add some of this creature soil uh, and some of this natural cocoa fiber bedding. And we're going to do it a 60-40 mix about 60% this, 40% this. Let's get it done. I'm going to add this. It does have some chunks in it, but I'm going to probably break most of them up. We're going to add a good amount of depth because the Arizona Blonde uh, Fauna Pamela call it Calcotes. And if you didn't know, they really like to burrow. So... Go ahead and get that done. We'll go ahead and add the rest of the bag. We don't have a whole lot of it, but it's pretty good. And we're gonna add a little more some of this future soil. Gonna add the whole rest of this bag, and I have another bag. Gonna mix it in. Creature soil is a mixture of, um, in case you didn't know, it's a mixture of sand, peat moss, and uh, carbon mixtures. It's uh, very good for. It does retain moisture pretty good. It's also good for keeping a dry species. I like to mix them up. I, I added a little bit more depth on this side. Uh, that's where I'm going to put her hide at so she can burrow a little bit more. I'll probably go in and add more soil later on to different parts. But uh, there her little legs are peeking out. She is, for everyone who says they have a nice one of these, there's someone else who says they have a mean one. Mine is in the middle. It does not like to be bothered. But that's what I got it in. It's a little bit filthy and that's why we're moving it. And also, uh, I think I'd rather just move her into it because I, you know, these holes are cut with like a knife and they're pointy on the other side and they don't ventilate good. And uh, just want to make it look a little cleaner and a little better. I added this nice rock right here. Uh, they do live in the desert. They usually burrow underneath rocks. Then I got the water dish here. Uh, this water dish is usually for like lizards or something, but I got it for her to try it back in a long time ago. And I've seen her drink out it many times, which is kind of rare to see. Uh, works good for her, so... I'm not gonna fix what isn't broken and we're gonna use the same hide and I just know I just already know she's gonna be mad I stand correct but as you can see what I said about burrow digging and it's true and there she is beautiful girl I got her over two years ago she is a confirmed female and I think she's getting close to a molt okay here's how I got it set up now Got her hide dug out and everything, covered over a little bit. Got this rock here, got the water dish. It's gonna be simple like this for now. I have no fake plants to put in there. I don't wanna put my air plant in it because it requires too much misting and they don't really like humidity. They just like a water dish. But I think we will use, like we're gonna to try to get a fake cactus to put in here, a little one in the corner. And we're gonna to try to get, try our luck with a split rock plant because they don't require any moisture for years. So, oh, she's moving on me. Very, very beautiful. Let me get the light on her so you can see her colors better. And these are super, super underrated. She's getting close to three inches. I've had her for over two years. She's only molted once since I've had her. Very slow growing species. Can sometimes live to be 30 years old. And she is a female, so I could have, she's very long lived. Um, but very underrated here in the States because they're native to the United States. You know, uh, you know Texas and Mexico and Arizona is where you're mostly going to find them at but as you can tell it's a female because it has much more pale legs and the males will have a lot more black on their legs very beautiful okay we're gonna try this she hates it more than anything on the planet earth to be touched so we're gonna just move her oh i hope she's picking hairs at me already Mhm, mm mm -hmm. that's not good Come on. Come on. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nope, nope, no hair kicking. Now, if you guys, uh, if you're first time seeing tarantulas, this since this is a new world species, they don't have very potent venom. So they kick these urticating hairs. They'll get in your eyes, your mouth, whatever, of like a coyote or a predator, and it will uh, deter them from eating it because it's very irritating. You don't want to get it on your skin. That's why I keep uh, rotating this cup in the direction of the hair she's flicking. She's definitely flicking them. But see, she hasn't thrown a threat posture, not once. It's 
See? No threat pauser. Nope, nope, not a lot. There it came. Come on, get up in there. Come on, come on, sweet girl. You're giving me so much less fish than you used to. I think she's in free molt. Okay, I think she's gonna be picked up here. I'm gonna go gently, 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 gently. Good. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna try to. Oh, don't want that to happen. Let me go ahead and put my hand there to make sure that don't happen. Because of her weight. Come on. If she does bite this, this is why I have the sponge, so it will not harm her fangs. Now I'm gonna anticipate her to kick hairs in three, two, one. Didn't happen. We're good. Alright. Got her in her new enclosure. I'm gonna give her a little bit of water and we're gonna her up and let her get to digging all right and there's one last look at her as she stretches around and gets used to it i'll try to get a feeding video over sometime soon but like i said it's been hard to feed her because i think she might be in pre-molt uh but she with a little bit of those hairs missing on her butt but she could have just kicked them off at me so all right thank you guys for watching uh be on the lookout for more tarantula videos and more travel videos as time goes on check out the playlist Moon Man.